and tilt his head to the side. Does that make sense? We want to make our grip right here and leave it so our hand right here so the hand is the blade up right here. I'm going to take and lean all my weight so it goes onto his forearm. And how comfortable is this? Not very comfortable. Not very comfortable, right? <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm putting my shoulder down on top of the bicep, which is crushing it on top of the sharp part of my arm right here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Some people some people on this, you can get just the right bite on the right part of their tricep that they'll tap out. It hurts. They say, ah, and they tap out real quick. However, that's not my intention. This isn't supposed to be a submission. If I do this really hard, it's going to result in a bruise. You know what I mean? It's just really uncomfortable. What I want him to do is go push me. Why? Because he's going to buck and push. Is the only way he's going to get my pressure off. When he bucks and push, what do I do? I mount, right? Just like we were doing in the last position. We were going for the arm triangle, and he bucks to counter that. We move to mount. This is going to be the same thing. Sometimes you get a, a quick tap right here, but most of the time the person is just going to say, ah, and they're going to push on our armpit and buck up. When they do, we're ready to move our knee up to his armpit once again and move ourselves up to the position. So, let's hold on tight right here. We have our good position. I'm going to take my hand out, tilt his head over to the side, put my head up on the ground, crawling up and pinching on the arm. What am I looking for when I pinch on the arm? What am I waiting for him to do? Push. Well, he's probably going to go the other way. But maybe he's smart. <laughs> if he does go that way, what are we doing? Like, Same thing, just mount like that. You're just waiting for him to mount right here. I'm just putting pressure right there, making it uncomfortable and waiting. Okay, move. Because for him to move, he has to put his feet on the ground. Put his feet on the ground, he has to let go of our leg. When he does, I'm already up high with my head being on the ground right there, so my knees can suck right up under his armpits, right up high to a nice mount right there. Does that make sense? So, yeah. Let's see, does that make sense? It does make sense. It does make sense. <laughs> I sort of go half right, hold him on tight, and I take, squeeze his head over to the side, put myself up right here, and start crawling out to get that reaction from him right there. Move myself nice and light. And as soon as I feel him start pushing and moving, sorry, I'm sure that's really not talking a little bit. As soon as I start feeling him pushing and moving, I'm not going to try and hold. I'm not trying for the submission right there. I do want to squeeze and see if I can get it, but I'm not. That's not the intent of the move right here. The intent of the move is to get him for that movement and let myself advance my position, right? I want to take him going, going from him holding me down in this position where I'm locked down to using that against him to my advantage and making him force me to, to the next best position in my mouth. Right? So grab a partner back and forth, attacking the forearm to take him out from half of us. Go. I think therefore I am. Alright, so this one starts this one starts the exact same way. It's an extension of the same one we were doing. So we'll have some more chances to have our arm squeezed here. I know it sucks. And you don't have to let them squeeze super hard before you realize like, when you start doing this to people, the second time you do it, they're gonna start pushing right away. They don't want you to squeeze this hard the second time, right? Um, so this one right here is because of the position we're in and where he's kind of moving to for a second, we don't have to just advance to a position here. We can advance to an actual or a real submission, right? So we're in the same spot. He's holding on to us. We come up, we get the pressure on his arm right here. He pushes, bam. And when I move up right here, I'm going to take and move my feet up. Instead of going to mount, I'm going to move it across like a belt right here. And my other hand is going to reach down, push his head while I'm holding the pressure on his arm. So I'm like this right here. I'm not hanging out here, but that's where I'm going to control for a second so I can bring my knee all the way through. I'm this. hugging his, his mm -hmm. tricep with both of my hands and my elbows in right here for control. And I'm bringing my right forearm, the same one we were putting pressure on his tricep with a second ago. I'm going to take and find right where his elbow is. I'm going to put that same spot against his elbow, Take my, uh, make a fist, take my other hand, reach it right underneath. Oh, hey. <laughs> and pull it till. You all right? <laughs> pull it till. Don't listen like, to Jack. Till the yeah, giggle. What's wrong with you? All right. So. <laughs> 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 
So then we're moving ourselves right here, moving his head to the side, putting pressure on. He starts pushing and bucking right here. We take and move our feet to right here. Pushing on his face, bringing our other knee across. We want to bring both of our knees to the ground because when our knees are on the ground, the ground is our base. And if he moves around down there, it's just my feet are like shock absorbers, right? They take the impact. If I have a knee up on him here, here or both, when he moves around, he's my base and it's gonna move me around. So I wanna make sure I get my knees all the way to the ground and my legs are separate from me holding him down, right? My head's my third, one, two, my third on the tripod right here, holding and hugging everything nice and tight until I find where I want with my hand, making a fist, grabbing on and then Pulling it you on the elbow yeah, I'm looking to put that same spot I was before right on his elbow and pull against where his thumb is right there, right? It's, just a straight, it's absolutely just a straight arm bar, yep. So grab a partner back and forth. Go.